so they're just getting in, they're really early. Yeah. Well, like five minutes early, I suppose. Yeah. That's still good, though.
Yeah. Picking that up okay? Any good? Perfect.
bit of that. Yeah. You look a pilot. A bit Top Gun. Welcome to the live stream game of the round for the Barossa Light and Gawler footy. Today we're coming to you from, right from the Angus and Oval. Yes, coming to you live from the beautiful, picturesque Angus and Oval. And uh, Angus and taking on Tanunda here in today's game of the day. Should be a really close game with an epic ride. to Alex Roberts from Angerson who gets the shuffled handball out. Don't worry about it. Quick kick around the corner, goes nowhere. Congestion, we'll have another ball up. Umpire Prentice coming in, taking control. Roberts again with a tap, doesn't go to anyone's advantage. Ball flicked out to Nunder's way. Jake Hood with a quick handball out. Angerson kicking forward. Finding Ben Antoni on the lead. He wheels around onto his left, kicking it deep into the forward lines. Jed Durden with a flying attempt at a mark and run across the line by Trent Gers. And he was about to run over the line to kick out, decided to stop. Lost his balance, probably a big mistake. He's found an Angerson player, Will Falland, probably 35 metres from goal on an angle. Big mistake there from the Tanunda in the defence. Fallon coming in now. Left footed kick. Chokes it a little to the near side. There's a minor score to start the game. Angerson with the first score. Good attacking start from the Panthers. We've had a really tough start to the year. Joining me in commentary, I've got former Tanunda player Scott Enchke. How are you, Scott? Yeah, good. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for having me today. It's a perfect day here in uh, Angerston. Uh, good footy conditions. Um, just retrieving the ball from behind the goals, uh, Tanunda will kick out and uh, move the ball forward. 
Hopefully it's a better kick out than the previous attempt. Matt West off the Tanunda captain to bring the ball back in now. Plays on. Kicks long down to the wing. Big contest. No one able to take the footy. Wrapped up in the tackle now. Umpire Herman coming in. Ball up just on the centre wing. Angus Adams with the tap. Not able to win it to advantage. Players happy to wrap it up and restart once again. Adams with the tap against Falkenberg. And holding the ball, Steve Summerton. Sorry, Will Fallon actually caught there in the tackle. Trent Gers now clearing for the pies. Short chip kick in boards. Uh, Tananda looking to go through the centre here. Finds John Greenslade, the former Sturt player. He goes long and direct. And juggling attempt there for Tananda. Unable to take it in the end. Strong tackle wraps him up and we'll have a ball up near true centre half forward for the Magpies. Pretty crowded at this bounce up. Uh, umpire throws it up. Adams with another tap. Comes directly down to their feet. Players happy to just grab it and keep it in tight. Anguson now with a clear and kick. And a strong mark from behind by Antony. He wheels onto his left. Towards the leading player. That's a beautiful mark taken directly in front by Jed Durden. Durden will be kicking from at least 45 metres out. Being a left footer, it probably favours him a little bit this side. Distance might be the issue. Right behind him here, Teak. So um, what's the chances of this going through? I'm not liking... I don't like to predict because invariably when I predict players are going to kick a goal, they don't. And I tend to wear a bit of that blow. Uh, that's fair call. So I'm happy to sit on the fence where we are right now. And it's a beautiful... A pretty handy kick at goal normally. It strikes that beautifully. And that's the opening goal of the game for the Panthers. That goal brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, your premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs. Absolute good call there, Teeks. Right behind it, so don't go off track. I'm not taking your bait, Scott. So, really good start for the Panthers. Very positive footy being played and good to see them attacking straight out. They've been struggling this year with a lot of players out through injury and illness. COVID hit them pretty hard at times as most clubs have been hit, but injuries have really crueled their season. As we see, a ball up comes to nothing once again, so we'll have another ball up directly in the middle of the ground. And free kick given away in the ruck there by Angus Adams. Just a little bit too muscle for his Tanunda opponent. Quick hand off to Trent Gers, who drives the ball deep. Tanunda not able to get to the front of the contest. The handball back. Goes astray. Angus unable to clean up. Pushing out to that outer side. Out on my Henry Ratcliffe cleaning up out there. By hand, trying to move it forward. Anguston got good movement out of defence there, moving it forward. Antony outnumbered there, two to one. And that ball hacked off the ground by Tanunda. No one able to claim it cleanly. Ball off the deck, now goes Tanunda's way. Out into space. Fraser Smith's just run over the line there, and there'll be a throw in on the half forward flank. Nunda now with probably their best opening foray for the quarter. Into their forward pocket now. Trying to generate something here. Ball's tapped straight down to the front. Anguson with a quick clearing kick. Burgermeister got trapped under that. Rallies hard now. Gets taken down as he was about the handball. It's an under player drag the ball in his claim straight away. Another ball up, just on centre wing. A lot of strong tackling around the contest. Neither team willing to 
let the ball slip out unless it's to their advantage. We're going to see a lot of hard tackling. These two teams are bitter rivals for more than 100 years. They don't like each other. Right on the uh, centre flank here in front of the home crowd. And another strong tackle there by um, Will Fallon. And speaking of the rivalry, you'd know this from your younger days. These two teams don't like each other. They're going to get it on because they don't get along, Scott. That's right, because there's some people that are good and there's some people that are bad. That's a very black and white way to look at it. Uh, ball in right on the almost centre wing here. Good deep throw in. Both Ruckman go at it. Angus knocked the ball forward, but Gerds is there sweeping, able to clean up. He's run headlong into a tackle and holding the ball. Angus can play on quickly. Uh, Tanunda able to cut it off back there. Matt Westhoff in his sweeping role, just reads the ball beautifully. Kicks it out wide. Finds Bailey Smith, who kicks the ball out to the wing. I think that's Biagi. That's just another Benny Biagi in game number 101. And that's uh, Fraser Smith taking a nice Fraser mark. Fraser Smith, who's come along nicely as a forward this year. Looked out of sorts early in the season, but has grown into the role. He'll go back probably a good 30, 35 metres out, you reckon, Teeks? Uh, we'll be kicking from at least the 35 metre mark, I'd say. Tough angle in that pocket, traditionally known as the dead pocket at Angerson in the scoreboard corner. We'll take a really good kick from here, but he's a highly skilled footballer. Coming in now. Didn't really connect it that well off the foot. And a minor score. Yeah, just faded off to the right there on that occasion, uh, but a, a good attempt. So Angerson to bring the ball back in now. See what Tananda can do with their press, see if they can lock the ball in their forward half. Tananda missing a few key personnel today with... Henry Voigt not playing. Zane Kirkwood still not back from the, his rib injury. Uh, unable to mark in the middle of the ground was Anguston. Tanunda now with a clearing kick. Deep into the forward line. A lot of pressure being applied. Strong tackles. Player is thrown to the ground. Ball goes over the boundary line. So we'll have a boundary throw in. Yeah, there was another laid out too, I think. Uh, Teeks, uh, Lachlan Earl from Tanunda. Lockie Earl was a late withdrawal. He's an important player for the Magpies. Brings a lot of physical presence around the footy. Can also play deep in the forward line. A lot of veteran experience out of the team as Ben Bergermeister has taken over the line in a tackle. So we're seeing a lot of stoppages early and I think we're going to see a lot of that at least for the first quarter, Scott. 100% Michael, uh, nice boundary throw in then, but something's happened. Uh, it's like free kick has been paid. No, boundary throw in went too far in one direction, so giving it another try. This is a much better throw. Tanunda Ruckman out the back was able to take it cleanly and have a kick. Quick hands by Tanunda, nearly caught Angerson out. Jade Nantoni got on the end of it and is wrapped up in a strong tackle. Centre half forward again for the Magpies. They're keeping the ball in their forward half at the moment. There's a real pack around the ball at the moment as well. There's a quick handball out to uh, Biagi. He's around on his right foot. Tanunda in their forward line now. That handball unable to get any clearance. So strong tackle deep in that forward pocket for Tanunda. I would think uh, Angerson would be pleased with their efforts so far. They'd be pleased so far, but it's only very early. Tanunda have got the ability to put on goals in a hurry. And that fact that they're getting traction at the moment and keeping the ball in their forward half is a good sign for the Magpies. Tanunda making plenty of rotations early in the game. A lot of young players in the Magpies team. Really good to see a lot of young players being blooded in the current system. Uh, shot on goal here for Tanunda. And that goes through. First goal of the day for Tanunda. Brought to you by Ray White Craig. That's straight through. And that's Angerson's second goal. Brought to you by Ray White Craig Moore. 
And on the Grant Burge, sorry, the Burge were off the scoreboard that takes Angus into two goal two. 14 to Tananda, one point on the Birds Barossa scoreboard. <laughs> two points there, Mick. Yes, two points. Just waiting for our audio visual guy. It's now up as two points, so he's just gotten up to it. It's okay. Calm down, Sam. Relax. <laughs> That's okay. We wouldn't throw Sam under the bus too often. He only does it to me every other week. <laughs> Call out now to Nunda with a bit of clearance. Shanking kick. Beautiful left foot pass going forward there. From Hahn. Cleared that context. Tommy Hahn is new in the team. Just a young fella. Adds a bit of pace and zip. Good grab there from Brett Dowsey. Brett Dowse, a really good player. Good handball in the middle finds Jack Miles on his right foot. He's heading for Durden. And unable to take the mark, but falls to his feet. Players dive on the ball. There'll be a ball up probably 35, 40 metres from the Angerson's goal, almost directly in front. Angerson really putting the foot down on Tanunda at the moment. Yeah, you're quite right there, Michael. They've had a cracking start, and they've really controlled the ball well. So you see... That ball up comes to nothing. Strong tackle. As Jay Shannon, the Yankerson coach, was wrapped up. A lot of physical work going on. Shannon actually taking the ruck contest there, which is a bit unusual. That handball back. Doesn't find a target. Strong tackle applied there. Player driven into the ground. Another ball up here. The rucks go at it. Tap down to an under player. Uh, back. back handball finds Hahn. He kicks the ball beautifully out to the wing. Good strong mark taken. Got to say, Hahn's looked impressive so far. Yeah, he's had a good start to the game. Another clean kick finds an under player towards the flank. Short chipper, chipping kick again finds a player probably 60 metres out from goal. This kick a lot deeper. Searching. No one able to bring the footy to ground. So we'll see a pack form probably 35 metres from the Tanunda goal. And we'll have a ball up. Just seems like Tanunda are just, just bombing it in long at the moment, Michael. Yeah, no real structure to the way they're moving the ball forward. It's probably hoping for someone to bail them out. And I noticed that earlier in the year when they played Neary, they were just banging the ball long as if they had a player, miracle player down there that would take a mark. Yeah, very true there. They've, they've got it here pretty well dead in front. Uh, dead in front now. Tanunda will be taking a shot on goal. Uh, Trent Gers has had a fantastic start to the game. Been in everything. Recently married. Maybe married life is good for him. Uh, he's kicked that beautifully. That's... Tanunda's first goal of the match. So another goal brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, the premiership team for real estate through the northern suburbs. Good early calling there, Michael, on this game. It's, uh, and on the Birds were off the scoreboard, that takes the score to Angus at two goal, two, 14, to Tanunda, one goal, two, eight. So a beautiful, tight contest here at Anguston. Very little wind to speak of. If there is a breeze, it's slightly favouring the end Angerson's kicking too, but probably not worth anything in the way of scoring. Back in the middle. Herman throws the ball up, and Falkenberg got up high, able to get the ball down. It's an under now with hands, quick clearance. That clearing kick lands in the arms of... Aaron Fechner. Aaron Fechner, the small forward. He kicks a cross goal, finds a target. It's a beautiful pass. Fraser Smith got on the end of that. It was a really strong lead. And he's going to be kicking from almost the same position he had a shot before. Yes, this will be interesting to see whether he's learnt from what he had done previously and um, put, put it through, hopefully, on this occasion. Probably a slightly better angle. Coming in now. Better connection on the footy that time. And he's put it through. Two quick goals for McTananda right back in the contest. 
that will level the scores here. Another goal for Ray White Craigmore. And level scores at Angus and Oval. Game on. Ball coming back to the middle now. Umpire Herman will get ready and come in for a ball up once he gets to the right side of the circle. Falkenberg with another good tap there. Anguston able to clear the ball by hand. A little bit of a fumble. Jake Hood spins out of trouble, gets ball backwards to Tom Ryan, delivers the ball strongly into the forward line. Bouncing ball favoured Antoni, who spins out of a tackle. Left foot kick towards the goal square, dribbles out of bounds, so we'll have a boundary throw in. Actually, no, last touch rule, Chinanda will kick in. So that long clearing kick down to the flank and a strong mark taken. He bodied his Angus and opponent out from under the footy. Chips the ball back inside, finds Bailey Smith. Smith with forward now with the handball. Comes back, finds Smith again, and kicks beautifully with that right leg. That's a lovely kick. Uh, spoiled just there. Angerson able to chip the ball out into space. Smith said to cut it off. He's the football can't get away from him at the moment. They say the ball finds energy, and Bailey Smith showing a lot of energy at the moment. Yeah, on the outer side there'll be a boundary throw in and they'll go again. Good deep throw in. Hood with another good handball out. Forward handball. Deep kick from Anguston. Goes over the head of Antony. And they take it out of bounds. That'll be a boundary throw in in Anguston's forward pocket. Repeat entries for Angus, and this is what they need if they're going to be competitive, is to put pressure on Tananda's defence until they crack. Tananda Ruckman was the only one who went for the ball on that occasion. Seems a little easy coming out of the, uh, their forward line that time, Teak, so yeah, you're right. Yeah, Angus and probably drop their focus for a moment, and they can't afford to do that. They're not a good enough team to relax. Strong mark taken there by Jay Shannon, just outside the 50. He'll need to find a target to pass to. He's looking now. He goes wide. Uh, looking for Steve Summerton. and the ball didn't quite make it to him. Ball trickles out, so Tananda will have the kick in. That short little chip kick. Finds Tom Hahn. Hahn looking around now. Not sure where to go. He's going to go straight down the line. Good discipline. Angus Adams with a punch. Angus player jumped on the ball and was wrapped up immediately. Umpire adjudicated that he had absolutely no chance to get rid of that. Rucks go at it. Angus clears the ball. Bounce through into the arms of Gers, who is wrapped up by Shannon, and it's getting a little willing out there, Scott. Yes, I think the umpires have done a tremendous job so far with the umpiring. Herman with the ball up. See Adams and Falkenberg go at it again. Jake Hood grabs the ball and's taken over the boundary line. So we'll have a boundary throw in directly in front of the Tanunda box. Uh, it's built to fit, Scott. Angerson got it in their forward line again. Um, this is where they need to see if they can get a clearance here and uh, have an, another sh shot at goal. And a beautiful kick out of the air there by Cal Loki. A flying shot on goal, just misses off to the right. So Tanunda will have a chance to clear now. That's exactly what, what Ango was... Uh, meaning to do and they nearly pulled it off there. Um, it was uh, a very good shot on the run. Yes, Tanunda get the chance to clear their defensive 50 now. 
Westhoff's able to launch the ball a long way, so they want to get out of trouble here. He's going to go long. And the, not his best kick finds Summerton, who was all on his own. Summerton now finds the leading dead, and that's a beautiful pinpoint pass from the 200-plus game SANFL footballer. Yeah, you could say you're right behind him on this occasion, and that was a absolutely Durden mark. having probably his third shot of the game. Coming in now, connects beautifully again. Probably always going slightly left. That was uh, the, the leather of the footy. You could hear it right off the boot. It was a beautiful, lovely straight kick. Just went to the left, like you said, Michael. Westhoff not taking the kick in on this occasion, probably still shaking his head after the last mistake. Ball comes out to this near side, and no one able to take the mark. Gers at the bottom of the pack, copying an absolute hammering there. Probably unlucky not to get a free kick for a high contact. We see Roberts and Falkenberg go at it. Falkenberg trying to get the ball off the deck. More powerful tackling. Another rebounds here, right in front of us. A lot of communication going around the contest. Sam Colhoun directing traffic. Oh, very lucky there. The Ruckman from Angus and Roberts twice tried to rugby style bash through the contest. That hack ball going forward. Bit of chaos. Bailey Smith tried to kick. Missed his foot. So we'll have a ball up probably 20 metres out from the Angus and goal. Just feels like the pressure's gone back onto Tanunda at the moment. They had that bit of a run there with a couple quick goals and uh, Angus and have really put the pressure back on. Yes, Angus and definitely showing a lot of intent early in this game. Gers with a clearing kick there. And Bailey Smith now under a lot of pressure. Jaden Antoni applying a strong tackle, taking him over the boundary line, so we'll have a boundary thrown on Angerson's half-forward flank. Roberts takes front position, try to take the ball out of the air. Ball comes out the back of the contest. No one able to get clear possession. Uh, it's, it's really tightened up the game in the last five minutes or so and uh, yeah it'll be another ball up there probably on the half forward plank there for Angerston. We, we thought the intensity was high at the start of the game but I think it's actually lifted a little bit Scott. Yeah it has. And Angerston now with a clearing kick from Hood goes deep into the forward line. Durden at the back had, tried to take position with a slight push. Bailey Smith now running the ball tried to find Gers. Angerston probably just caught out by the siren that flying shot got off after the effect. So that brings the first quarter to a close. The scores on the Burge Barossa scoreboard. Angerston, two goal, four, 16, leading to number two goal, two, 14. Really good quarter of footy there, Scott. Who did you think the best players were for Tanunda? Uh, for Tanunda, oh, I'd have to put down. Yeah. For Tanunda, I'd have to put down uh, Fraser Smith. He, he had a good start up yeah, forward. Yes, really good presenting a target up forward. Uh, the young fellow that you said that's just uh, playing his first game, uh, Han. Han. Uh, Han was really impressive yeah, when he got the footy. Yeah, he's seen it a few times there. And um, in the... Um, Trent Gers has been yeah, right around the ball. Trent Gers has done a mountain of work across half back, And I'd say he'd be close to best on ground at the moment. And for Angerston, a couple of players have really stood out. Ben Antoni across half forward's been spectacular. And, and your mate up forward there, Jed Dern, has, has been Jed Dern's presented a beautiful target, taken a couple of cracking marks and is causing Tanunda a lot of headaches. And just confirmation that Port Adelaide are leading Sydney, so that makes me happy. We like to keep Teeks happy here. But yes... I did, I did think see, think your ruck um, and was playing, probably winning the ruck just slightly today. Yes, the tag team of Angerson's two ruckmen against the one 
Ruckman for Tanunda is probably going to be a telling factor today without Henry Voigt playing as the second Ruckman for Tanunda. The combination of Roberts and Adams will really wear on Falkenberg during the day. And uh, as you said, um, the time forward for Angus and they they probably didn't capitalise as much as what they could have and had a bit more of a lead than they do at the currently at the moment. But uh, I thought they felt, fought the quarter out really good and uh, Tanunda just need to tidy up their entry into the forward line a bit. They, they got going there a little bit, but uh, yeah, just, just need to play the position a bit better. Yes, it's going to be really interesting to see whether at some stage Tanunda have to find another player to go into the ruck for a short stint to give Falkenberg a rest. If they do, the obvious choice would be Matt Westhoff, who is the tallest player in the team. He's a senior body, should be able to do the job, but unfortunately doesn't go in there at all. Another option they have used during the year is Fraser Smith, but that would take away their one good target in the forward line. So Tanunda have got a lot of choices to make if they are going to combat Angerson's Twin Towers today. Both coaches giving their final address to the teams now. As we said earlier, beautiful conditions here at Angerson Oval and today the first day of use for the second oval just up to the right of screen. You won't be able to pick it up on camera but a beautiful second mini oval has been installed for junior footy and really added a new dimension to game day here at Angerston. Yeah, it is, it, it is quite uh, a nice looking oval up there with the juniors playing there earlier on in the day um, and it adds, adds to the uh, atmosphere here today at Angerston Oval. Yes, good strong crowd in attendance, as it always is in this clash between two close rivals. Today playing for the Peck Cup and the Kleinig Medal for Best on Ground. Peck Cup will go to the winner of the day. This quarter, Tanunda will be kicking with the slight breeze to the right of screen. Be interesting to see if they can make that little bit of breeze work in their favour. Just moving into the uh, second quarter here at uh, Panther Park. Um, Angerston two goals four, two to Dunder two goals two. And as someone who's been here for the first time with since the renovations at Angerston, how, how do you feel the new Panther Palace has come up? I had a tour of that earlier and it's absolutely magnificent inside the uh, palace. Um, it's great viewing. Um, obviously today's conditions aren't worthy being indoors so uh, but if it was a wet miserable day like we normally get up here at Angerston it would have been perfect to be sitting in there and having a few froppies. <laughs> um, umpire's about to bounce the ball here at the start of the second quarter and the rucks go up. Falkenberg a bit of a dead heat on this occasion. Angerston got it out the back door. Uh, kick comes out brought to ground to Nanda first to sweep on it. That clearing kick forward. Goes over the pack. To Nanda first to grab it. Ashton Stein it like a mad dog going at the footy. It's a good shot there from John Greenslade. Johnny Greenslade showing a little bit of class. That's the first shot of the second quarter and first goal of the quarter for Tanunda. That goal brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, Premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs. Yeah, that was well done there by Ashton Steinert. He uh, really took him on and then got the handball out for a, a nice uh, goal there yeah. from John. Stood up well in the tackle, absorbed a lot of pressure and could have easily capitulated and gone to ground and Tanunda would have missed that opportunity. Actually, I must say the Oval is in good condition uh, considering the amount of rain we've had over the last few months. It's uh, held up well. Uh, tap down from Yangus and Ruckman. Shannon at the bottom of the pack gets it out to Summerton. It's an under swoop on the loose bowl. Quick kick going inside now. Finds Fraser Smith on the lead on the outer side. Diving mark. He'll be taking a shot from probably 35 metres out. Probably kicking from the 40. 
really going back on the run up here. I think he's uh, setting his sights. He's almost back in the playground. <laughs> He'd be tired almost by the time he gets to the kick. Gets up and under. Right to the oh, lands in the goal square and tapped over for a minor score. Jacob Phoebe got to bring the ball back in for Anguston. Kicks the ball to the outer wing. Jack Miles takes the ball. An awkward handball. Doesn't really go anywhere. Tanunda able to dive on the footy. Wrapped up by Miles, cleaning up his own mess. Yeah, he was a little sloppy on that occasion. So the rucks go again. Taps, taps it out to John Greenslade. Lots it forward in the path um, of Aaron Fechner. And it's out of bounds. Fechner just makes sure the ball goes over the line so that it stays in Tanunda's forward line. Throw in now. Adams with a punch forward. Goes to the advantage of Loki. Clearing kick from Jaden Antoni. It's an under player was pushed out of the contest. Quick kick comes back in, finds Aaron Fechner, the small forward. Didn't have to move. The ball found him like a tracer bullet. So Fechner, who is a noted goal kicker, going back now, take a shot from a tight angle. You would say this would be his bread and butter? Uh, for a small forward, this is what they should be able to do. Yeah. Kicks the ball, drifts a little bit to the near side, so minor score for Tanunda, but that's repeated shots on goal for Tanunda. It's something they haven't been able to do for about 20 minutes. Anderson just waiting for the ball to come back now. <laughs> Phoebe are looking for a target. Looking into the sun. And a 25 metre penalty paid. Not sure what that was for. I think uh, the Tanunda fella just went over his mark. Right? Yeah, possibly going over that line. Just by half a line or whatever it was, but yeah, unfortunately he went over and gave that 25 away. So, they so Anguson now a chance to penetrate deep. Goes over the contest. As you said earlier in the game, uh, Michael, this is uh, really bottling in and it's going to be a fierce contest all day by the looks of it. Yes, both these teams very proud. They don't like losing to each other. As we mentioned earlier, that mutual dislike. You're not going to give this opposition an inch to work with. That's a beautiful kick there by uh, Jackson Murphy, and I think he's got a big sausage roll. Jackson role. Murphy on with a running goal. That's Angerson's first for the quarter, and another brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, the premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs. Adams coming to the bench now. Roberts coming back on. The tag team in effect. Young Falkenberg, the ruckman from Tanunda, has got his work cut out for him against two big bodies, two big mature bodies. And she's all locked away here at Panther Park this afternoon. Roberts gets his hand to that one. Running through, beautiful pickup from Riley Argent. Handballs back to Jaden Antoni, who drives the ball deep. Finds a marking target there. I believe it was Durden. He's going back. He's going to take a good look at this. He's well on the 40 metres there, you reckon? Hey, we'll be kicking from at least 45, I'd say. Yep. And the mark is probably around the 40 metre mark. So he'll be kicking from about 45. Might be just beyond him, I believe. Kick connected well. And just offline. But repeat entries for Angerston. That's what they'll want. They'll want to keep putting pressure on the Tanunda defence and see if they can force a crack. 
just faded to the right there, that kick, but uh, it was still a nice off the boot. So That little bit of wind is drifting slightly that way, so got up under it, and once it's up in the air, the wind does tend to take it. Is that icy wind up here at Angerston or just the wind? It's not icy yet. Wait for the second half. I did warn you of that earlier. Angerston with another entry. Ball spills and around the corner, Durden. He's kicked a beautiful goal. That's great crumbing goal from a marking forward. Not really his bread and butter, but he's willing to do whatever it takes for the Panthers. And that's probably the best goal of the day so far, brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, the premiership team in real estate in the modern suburbs. But Joe Cirillo will sell you a property anywhere. That's it's good a beautiful. It's a family-owned business. Joey Cirillo is a lovely bloke, big supporter of community footy, heavily involved in his local club, Williston, him and his family. But he will work with anyone, anywhere, anytime. He's just a gem. Tonight they're going to have to look at maybe doing something there on uh, Jed. Yes, they're going to have to try and find a matchup that's working. Angerson with that quick handball backwards to Summerton. Another forward entry. No mark paid. So we'll have a ball up 40 metres from Angerson's goal. Another repeat entry for the Panthers. Yeah, Getting too easy out of the middle at the moment. Yeah, they have been working it well out of the middle. Dead correct there. But when you've got Ruckman getting their hands to the ball and you've got players like got Ilk of Shannon and Summerton around the footy. There's been a hold the, hold the man free here. Which way yes. is that going? It's going... Going to Nunder's way. way? No, Angerson's way. No, Angerson's way? Yep. You can never really tell with the umpires sometimes. No. I don't want to bag them too much. Because it does get back. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult position. Uh, Benny Bergermeister now. And a 25-metre penalty paid. Obviously, the Tanunda player told the umpire what he thought of his decision. Yeah, Probably not in the best way. No, there was a bit of back chat there going on. And, uh, and that's, that's poor discipline. Takes a 50-50 yep. shot to a guaranteed goal. Benny Bergermeister with a rare goal for the young fella. And that's another goal for Angerson. And another goal brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, the premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs, Scott. Your portfolio, you'd be looking to give Joey a call, wouldn't you? Oh, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> okay, I'll tell Joe to expect your call in about 30 years. Yes, thank you. Just put that in the calendar. No, Angerson have really ripped this quarter apart. They have, and they've turned it on with clearances from the centre and good clean footy. This will be an interesting one to see which way this goes. Tanunda have got to do something. They've got to find a way to stop the bleeding here. Another goal, and Angerson really will get momentum. Ball up. Roberts gets his hand to that again. Clear tap. Summerton runs onto it. Gets his left foot to it. Flying attempt at the ball from Durden. Unable to take it. And a beautiful will goal Fallon. kick there. Will Fallon. will Fallon on his natural left foot. That is a massive goal for the Panthers and a real warning sign for the Magpies. And of course, that goal brought to you, Scott, by Ray White Craigmore, the premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs. Beautiful spot, Craigmore. It is a lovely area, and Ray White can put you into a house in that region quite comfortably. They would be going gangbusters up there at the moment. Just a little bit like Angerson at the moment. They're going gangbusters. Everything's falling. Angerson are exploding at the moment, and it's probably the most positive footy they've played for the season. And they've saved it for their arch rival, Tanunda. Roberts, again, getting up high, getting his hand to the footy. And Tanunda fighting hard with this. Tanunda player brought to ground in a heavy tackle. Yeah, it was a heavy, solid tackle, but... Uh I think they need to up the antis here a bit, otherwise you're right, they're going to get away with it. And they're really missing the likes of Lockie Earl, as we said, around the footy at the moment. He's the kind of player that they tend to move onto the ball just to provide that bit of strength and a bit of resilience. They're missing that at the moment. And Jay Shannon just bursting out of the pack onto his right foot, just clears the player he was going for. Tanunda West off with a clearance now. Straight to an Angerson player. And Angerson will be taking another long shot on goal from here. Uh, handball off is a smart move. And that flying shot on goal just drifts off to the right. So a minor score, but 
another good quality shot on goal for Angerston. Again. Whistle's gone and uh, going to have to do the kick in again. I'm not sure why. Maybe he was, what, had waited or something. I'm not sure there. Uh, he finds a target with a short kick. Just got to get a bit of control back here to Nunda. Uh, otherwise, Angerson going to really get away with the game. Going, out going long. Not able to find, hit a target. Another ball up on the half forward flank for Angerston. And another massive tackle. We'll have a ball up in the same spot once again. And yet again, another repeat uh, throw up here. Both Ruckman and Gage. Angerston with get the tap through Roberts and looks like a free kick being paid going Angerson's way for in the back and it's Steve Summerton who's receiving the free kick there with he is the danger man to under a right to be worried about him he kicks the ball into the forward line deep into the pocket looking for Jay Shannon he's unable to mark and ball goes over the boundary line will be a throw in in the pocket And Angerston at the moment, six goals, six. To Thunder, three goals, four. A 20-point lead here at Panther Park. And that sh flying shot just falls short. A lot of players chasing the footy. Ball. Two players running at it. Neither one knew which one was going to go for it. To Thunder player, Bailey Smith, picked it up. Danced beautifully, uh, kicked it towards the contest. Angerson player being held on to, free kick, and he's driven the ball into the middle of the ground, and it's a really strong mark taken by Steve Summerton, who quickly gets up, turns around, and hits a target, probably 35, 30 metres in front of goal. That's beautiful footy, Scott. Yes, and as you said, that Summerton is a guy needing attention immediately. Um, obviously, his delivery was spot on there to the forward line and they've got opportunity to put one through for Angerston. Coming in now. Beautiful kick from Riley Argent and that's a goal. Riley Argent, one of the best kicks of the footy in the Angerston side. Uh, his father was a pinpoint deliverer of the footy as well, played in the premiership team here at Angerston in 1986. And uh, Angerston have mowed it away now. To They've really put a gap onto Nunder now. It takes the score on the Birds for the scoreboard to Angerston 7 goal 6 48 to Tanunda 3 goal 4 22. And in just a short space of time, Angerston have really opened up a gap. Uh, Ruckman really getting involved in the middle and a heavy tackle laid there. Uh, Angerson player led in with his head so he's able to be tackled by it. Falkenberg with the tap that time. Another repeat throw up here in the centre. Roberts able to muscle Falkenberg out the way. Angerson able to bang the ball forward. Tanunda able to clean up there. Brett Dowsey got it out there for him. Out to the other flank. Nicely over to another Tanunda player in uh, Isaac Feltis, who got to... Uh and he kicks long, finds Fraser Smith on a long searching lead. Smith wheels around, kicks his heading to the centre forward area, and a mark dropped there by Todd Falkenberg, the big ruckman. He recovers, kicks forward, and the ball just trickles over the line. Probably the first bit of movement forward for Tanunda that had some Since connection. the opening minute of the quarter. Pretty well. It's, uh, and it wasn't super clean, but at least I've got it forward now. An opportunity to It was quick, a positive ball movement, which we haven't seen from them for a while. But to be fair, Angerson haven't let them. Hood with a beautiful bit of work in traffic. 
Ball comes out now. Long clearing kick from Murphy. No one able to get their hands to that ball until it hit the deck. But Murphy with a beautiful clearing kick out of defence. And Hood dancing through traffic in that stoppage. That was a sight to see. Another tap from Adams comes down. Finds Hood once again, who's really starting to rack up a few touches. Adams too strong for his Tanunda opponent. Yeah, got a clear tap away then. Oh, bit of, oh. Bit of feistiness going on there. Hello. A few introductions going on. Yeah, first name basis. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I'll just remind you. Yeah, very uh, feisty there. Pleased to meet you. But this is Tanunda Anguston footy. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. There's always a bit of feistiness going on. Just a little bit of niggle. Strong work from the Ruckman. A lot of tough body work. The pressure's gone up another gear. We said it twice already today, but it has gone up once again. Tanunda are responding here. They don't want to get bleed anymore. Adams comes over the back. And a strong tackle applied by Gers. Maybe the occasional jumper punch in there as well, but that's all part of footy. Yes. Strong tackling going on here today. Summerton picks the ball up beautifully, gets the handball forward. Argent coming around the corner, looking for Ben Antoni. Ball bounces off his chest, goes out of bounds, so we'll have a boundary throw in almost at centre wing, but on the Anguson side of it. And it was very tightly uh, contested along the boundary line there. I thought the uh, position was good. Yes, Riley Argent tiptoeing on the high wire. Another ball heading forward for Anguston into space. Tanunda with another kick around the corner. Jack Miles launches at it. And he picks up the ball off the ground, delivers the ball deep. Oh, uh, a solid contact there. Player, Anguston player taking the mark, but met heavily by his Tanunda opponent while he was in the air. I think it was Matt Westoff, cleaned him up. Nothing untoward, but good hard footy. And that's what people pay to watch here in the BLG. That's right, and that was a solid mark. If, you don't, if you're sick of watching the AFL and the umpiring that... It's become fast school. This is the kind of footy you want to pay and come watch. 100% there, Michael. It's real and it's contested. You can watch it on the live stream every week through the South Australian Footballer on YouTube or you can pay your hard earned, come in and support your local footy club. Be a part of your community. Ben Antoni taking a shot now. He's on a tough angle for a left footer. Gets the ball away cleanly. And looks like he's just drifted across to that right-hand side again. Always going to be tough for a left footer from there. And you can't blame the breeze on this occasion because no, the flag has stopped dead. Hit the ground pretty hard. Might have still been gasping for some air. Tanunda looking to bring the ball in now. They're just not getting any movement at the moment, Michael. It's just very stagnant. Very hesitant for such a talented team. and under able to get the ball out the back there. And free kick going to Nunda's way, I believe. No, back to Anguston. No, back to Anguston. Okay. Yep, didn't see that one, but anyway, way on. I thought it may have been a throw. Into the Anguston's forward line. And it looks like we'll be bowled up and thrown and up we're 21 minutes into the second quarter here on the Ray White Craig Moore time clock. And if you've just tuned in, Anguston have put a little bit of a gap on the score. Currently 7 goal 6 48 to Tanunda 3 goal 4 22 on the Birds Barossa scoreboard. Tanunda were trying to clear it again and they smacked it onto the uh, chest of Anguston again. Dylan Tuckwell now driving the ball into the forward line. The ball comes to ground and another big pack ensues. So we should have a ball up probably 20 metres out from Anguston's goal, almost directly in front. Tanunda with a hat kick out of the contest. Finds a Tanunda player at the back. His handball goes out of bounds. It was touched, so it won't be a free kick. 
How do, how do you find that rule? The, uh, I'm rule? actually a bit of a fan of it. I think it speeds the game up a little bit. Yep. And there's no more bailout where you can just accidentally knock the ball over the boundary line. I think they've, uh, they've played with Angerston here on this occasion because it didn't get tapped out. So. Okay, perhaps it didn't. I thought yeah. it had. But the umpires have just communicated oh, with each other. the back of the pack. Nearly went through. No. Uh, Angerston player picks it up. That's a good chip kick back. Just clean bowls his teammate. Oh. And Jay Shannon picked it up and he slammed the ground. Jake Hood tried to kick around the corner. That's a strong smother by his Tanunda defender. Tanunda hanging on for grim life here. Yeah, it seems that way. They have uh, really put the full throttle on this quarter, Angerston, and uh, put lots of pressure on. And we're seeing a response from the Tanunda players here. They are digging in deep. Seeing something that you would have grown up with a lot of magpie pride on display. Oh, 100%, Michael. It's a great sport to be playing and watching now. And it's an opportunity for Angus to snap it. And they're bucking around there in the goal square. And the umpires. Umpires pick. found a free kick. What's he picked out? I Michael? am not sure. Now it looks like it's your, your lad's got something in the back, maybe. Possibly. No. Ball up. Oh, there you go. No. That's probably a good result. We don't like the game being decided by free kicks. And I like it when the umpires let the players play the game. And they have umpired fairly well today. They are going. a really good pairing, these two. I think they work well together. Umpire Prentice and Herman. Yeah. Uh, hack around the corner. And that's another goal for Angerston. Beautiful effort. Panthers, I couldn't quite see who kicked that. But that's that's going to hurt the Magpies after holding on for so long. Number 17, Jay Shannon, the playing coach for the Panthers. That's his first goal of the day. Really starting to put a hurt on the Magpies now. This is something that a lot of people didn't come to the ground expecting. Angerson having a nightmare season. Tanunda probably still thinking they're a good chance to finish in the top three. What, what would you say it uh, brought that about, uh, Michael? Uh, COVID has hit the Panthers hard during the season and they've had a lot of injury issues, a lot of key players out for the year. Oh, that doesn't ever help. It was back in the middle here anyway. It looks like it'll be another ball up, but yeah, that, that doesn't no, help at all. No, that hasn't helped at all. And losing the occasional player to work and travel. Yes, that always factors into these country leagues. So we see the ball up in the middle, just we'll have a repeat throw up. But yes, Angus and like a lot of teams, hit by injury and COVID, but their depth has been tested and they've really not put it together at times. Tonight I got it out of the middle here, quick handball. Aaron Fechner with a good handball there. Well defended, Fraser Smith spoiled on that occasion. And we'll see a ball up probably 40 metres from Tanunda's goal. That's Tanunda's first forward entry for almost the entire quarter, Scott. Oh, now that's a bit rough, Michael. We've had it up oh, there maybe once or twice. Twice, but yeah, once not a was lot, in the though. first 30 seconds and the other point yeah. was about five we're minutes ago. We really haven't had much scoring, you could say. I might agree with you on that okay. piece of thing, but yeah, they just haven't had any I'm systems. sorry to break it to you. Yes. <laughs> They've got to do a lot of homework here. Come I'm unbiased. Back. Remember that. Yeah, oh, I know you're unbiased. Coming into half time here, that guy throws it up. And good tap there by Tanunda. And comes to ground. That's a nice flying shot around the corner. Young Thomas Hahn, who's new in the side. And a beautiful pick up there. Good handball from Fechner. Across to Steiner. And that high ball comes in. Angerson, Cal Loki stood under it. He was willing to take anything that came at him. He finds Jay Shannon in the back pocket. Slowing things down here a little bit, Angus. This is probably a smart move. Yeah, just give players time to take a breath. Remember where they are. Kicks the ball backwards to his captain, Jack Miles, in the goal square. Miles coming out. And a strong mark taken by Dylan Tuckwell, stood under the pressure. This next kick is where they have to find an opening. Oh, 
That short kick finds Jay Shannon, who ran along the boundary and got open. Good hard running from the Panthers coach. He looks further afield. Oh, that was too, too easy. There finds on Angus Adams, the big ruckman, who wisely handballs off. That's a great tactic. Ne ne never expect your ruckman to kick Scott. And there's uh, Westhoff in defence. Matt Westhoff doing what he does best, just cleaning up. That kick finds a teammate at centre-half back. Uh, Isaac Feld Felders kicks it in over to the other side of the field. Running player into the under, grabs it. Just comes back on his mark a bit there. and That little chip play. kick backwards to Westhoff again. He's still trapped in his defensive half. That kick finds a player. Very out wide. That's another open to under player. Takes mark. He's going to turn. He's going to look into the forward 50 now. Sam Colquhoun presenting at full forward. And a free kick being paid. Colquhoun was being held on to right from the goal square. I haven't mentioned his name that much this game. No, it's been well suppressed, but that time... Isolated himself in the goal square and forced the Angerson players to make a mistake. And I think that's something we're going to need to see more of from him and Green Slade. 100% there, uh, Michael. It's uh, lining back on the 50 mark at the moment. Coming in. Coming in, and we should write this one down already. Oh, he is a superb kick. He is a superb kick you're of the football. To put the monkey on him, that's why you? he got drafted. And you put the monkey on him, Michael. I, I would back him with my life. <laughs> And a lot of people would be happy for me to make that mistake. Phoebe got to bring the ball back in. He goes long. And a powerful mark taken out there by Summerton. Outbodied his opponent. Just that little clearing chip kick. Finds Jaden Antony. Comes back into Shannon. Angerson just kicking the ball backwards a bit at the moment. Just taking a breather. Fibia goes back in the Shannon direction. He plays on. And he goes long down to the half forward line. And a mark taken after the siren. So that ends play for the first half here, Scott. And the scores are Anguston, eight goals, 6.54. Tananda, three goals, 5.23. On the Birds Barossa scoreboard. And a really enthralling contest here at Anguston Oval. Two traditional rivals going head to head in. It's not a heavyweight battle this year. Neither team is at the apex of the ladder, but there's pride on the line still. Yes, dead correct, dead correct there, uh, Michael. It's, uh, and Anguston that quarter really took the game by the throat. And that first half, a lot of tough physical footy being played. A few players really excelling. Trent Gers, he loves that tight stuff. He's got a massive core strength and does a lot of boxing training. He's so strong through the shoulders and the upper body. He just loves the physical tackling and grunt work, Scott. He's my kind of footballer. Yeah, and as you uh, stated there, it's not only kicked the th one goal in that quarter to uh, Angerston's... Uh, Four goal scorers, so uh, and that was uh, Jed Duran, Will Fallon, uh, Jay Shannon, and Ben Burgermeister. Um, so that was the difference in that in that quarter, and uh, that gives them a nice, comfortable lead going into half time. Yes, it's not just the goals that they kicked. Angerston dominated possession forward of centre in that quarter. That's probably the thing they'd be most happy with that they actually capitalised and put goals on the board that quarter. Whereas the first quarter they were a little bit sloppy and took some shots that were low percentage and didn't quite get the reward for their effort. 
Yeah, I wouldn't like to be a fly on the wall in Tanunda change rooms at half time. I think there will be some, uh, has to be some changes made or some rockets thrown. Uh, there will be some changes made. I don't take, Sam Colquhoun doesn't strike me as a rocket type of coach. No. He's from the AFL system where they don't do that. It's calm and they speak methodically about what happens next. It's not about what, what has transpired. It's about what you can do to affect the game. And I think that's what he's going to be imploring his players to do is to try and make an impact on the contest. Oh, didn't you like uh, Bossy's spray the other night? I don't mind a bit of a spray, but it's generally not the way things work these days. Players are a lot more sensitive in this day and age. Oh, very touchy-feely, you're saying, eh? Yes, you've got to be very calm and give them something to play for, not threaten them with punishment. That's not the way players react in this day and age. I'm not saying it's a perfect thing, but you do have to have a more focused approach. No, I can't disagree with you, Michael. It's, uh, it is a lot better practices, so to speak. Well, it's, it's different. Whether it's better or not, it probably is in a lot of ways, but there's still nothing wrong with the good old-fashioned spray at times. And I know a lot of coaches in this position would be giving... We'd almost be able to hear it from out here. Yes. But Tanunda have got a lot of work to do. They've got, some, they've got to find a way to get Falkenberg some help in the ruck. He can't keep going against those two big fellas all day. And like you said, uh, Anguston clearance in that quarter was... Superb, to say the least. Yes, Steve Summerton really got into the game and has imposed his will on the contest, yeah. not only at the clearance, but then getting forward and being that connector. Yeah, he's been a bit of a standout for me today so far um, with, with his ball skills and that, along with our, uh, your Anguston's forward man. Um, Jed Durden's been very good. Yes. and uh, Jay Shannon came into the game in that quarter and had some good touches both in defence and up forward. And there's been a couple of Tanunda players that have, have just sort of fallen out and in and out of the game, um, not, not consistent enough at the moment, but uh, Trent Gers has been another try today. Um, Trent Gers has been terrific. And uh, Fraser Smith, he's, he's been uh, valiant up forward. Um, probably maybe could have had a couple more. But, uh, but he's relying on delivery and he hasn't had a lot coming his way. Bailey Smith's worked very hard in defence, but there's a couple of players. We need to see more from John Greenslade. Tanunda need him to impose himself on the contest. He's a former league footballer, and that strong body around the contest is what they need in the absence of the Lockie L type. 100% agree with you, Michael. Um, they, they've got a lot of youth. Both sides got a lot of youth, which is pleasing to see as well. Um, they're giving the young guys a, a bit of a crack, so it's pleasing to see that in the Rosser and Lot. Yes, that's a lot of junior development coming through these days with the salary cap and the point system clubs have realised that they have to build from within and development is becoming the most important thing in country football Sam Colquhoun, the playing coach from Tanunda he is the headline act, he's got to make a way to impact this game he did get that one goal from a free kick in the goal square late in that second quarter just by being there and forcing Anderson to make a mistake He's got to become more tactical and impose himself. 100%. He is a class effort and he's got to combine with Greenslade as they did two weeks ago at Kapunda in the stoppages and move the ball by hand to clear the ball out of there. They are so good at it. They drill it every week. They are a beautiful combination. They have to lead the way. They've got to find a way to get others to follow them. And that was uh, the one uh, on a SA Footballer as well that you uh, was live streamed yes, as well. Yes, uh, that Kapunda. last game was live streamed that from Kapunda. The week. That was, yeah, like you say, that was a good contest there too. It was a really good game. I enjoyed that greatly. Very responsible. Just on the waters here in the commentary position. No, we have clean water here in Anguston. <laughs> Although I've got a can of Coke in front of me at the moment. That's not the healthiest thing, but it'll do. And we'll take a break and we'll rejoin you for the third quarter shortly.
A hamstring. Actually, that happened at Williston in the year, second quarter. In the action, I, my hamstring is cramped. Yeah, and the pocket off. 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 And the 
he'll come and get you like it. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> he wasn't happy that I described this number of boxes being this number of box. <laughs> no, it wasn't happy. Oh, you wait for the new, the new one's going to have curves. It's going to be great. <laughs> 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 I haven't mentioned Cuba training yet. <laughs> Welcome back to the Anderson Oval. About to start the second half of Game of the Day. Uh, Ruckman from Tananda Falkenberg got a clear tap on that. And ball comes down. We'll have a repeat throw up almost in the exact same spot. And by home and Lurchers launches the ball skywards. Alex Roberts gets a touch. And Trent Gers wrapped up as soon as he took the ball. Both teams not willing to uh, give an inch again, as they did in the first half. Falkenberg got the tap that time. And looks like a free kick being paid to Angerson. Play on. Antoni doing a lot of work behind. Uh, his teammate grabbed the ball, wrapped up by two ten under players there. So we'll see a ball up probably 30 metres out from Angerson's goal, directly in front. Another ruck tucked down by Tanunda on this occasion. Out, Angerson's got it onto his left foot there. Has had a snap and a flying snap and an opening goal of the quarter. Was Ben? That was Dylan Tuckwell, number thirty-four. Dylan Tuckwell. Dylan Tuckwell, number thirty-four. And I made the mistake in that second quarter. He's actually the one who kicked the goal, not Burgermaster. So, yes, I've had his parents on to me about that already. So, good feed, positive feedback. <laughs> but, yes, so Angerson with the opening goal of the second half, and that's another goal for Ray White Craig Moore. Tapped out of the centre there, and Tanana have got it in their hands. And trying to push it out towards, and he's got ping. And scores from around the ground on the Birds Barossa scoreboard. Kapunda, four goals, six. Trailing Barossa District, seven goal four. Another throw up here in the middle. And at South Gawler, South Gawler, seven goal, two, 44. Leading Neary, four goal, five, 29 in that top of the table clash. As Stephen Summerton crashes in there once again. Yeah, he smothered that ball nicely there and held it up there. Tanana were pushing out. And the umpires found an infraction. Uh, might have been a throw out at the end. So free kick going the way of Benny Biagi. He finds a player with a hand kick and a quick handball off. It's an under into their forward line, attacking hard. And a strong tackle laid there by Angerson. Tom Ryan. Uh, got him a little bit high Free kick, there. yes. Just a little high. So looks like Aaron Fechner with a chip kick into the forward line. Finds Fraser Smith, who led beautifully into the space. Really well worked there by Tanunda. Yeah, Good, your, smart play. That's your man again there, up forward for Tanunda. He's uh, led well. <laughs> Tanunda really badly need a uh, score here. To yes, respond. they do. He's had a couple shots from here already today. Almost the exact same spot. That's straight through the middle there. Straight through the middle. That's exactly what the Magpies ordered. And that's uh, the second goal of the quarter goes to Tanunda. That goal brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, the premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs. And Scott's been on his phone. He's been checking out properties in the northern suburbs just to see what he can put his spare change on. Yes, we've been keenly looking around the area for some time now, so it sh shouldn't be too far. Joe, away. I'll give you his number. <laughs> Back in the middle here at Panther Park. Falkenberg with a good tap. He follows up strongly, gets down low, 
Ball comes back to Cole Hearn. He drives the ball deep into the forward line. And that's a beautiful mark. Disposed of his opponent legally and just held the space. That's a really strong mark. That was a lot better by Tadunder out of the uh, middle on that occasion. And a nice, lovely long kick there by Sam. And, and that's what they need. They need Cole Hearn to get hold of the footy because he's an elite user of the ball. And he can make that distance just like a little chip pass. You did call that earlier, that he needed to get involved, and that, that's a good sign early in this third term. Smith coming in now. He kicks shot truly goal. again. Uh, two goals in a row for Fraser Smith, two in a row for the Pies, and another goal for Ray White Craig Moore. Yes, that property awaits me right now. I can feel it. And you'll get a really good deal. But Joe is an absolute professional. He's a really nice guy. He will look after you to 100 the nth degree. He's fantastic. Angus to need to work out how to stop Tananda building momentum here. Starts in the middle. Falkenberg with a couple of really good ruck contests. I think he's been asked to lift and he's responded beautifully for the Pies. Nine goals, six to Angerston, to Tanunda, five goals, five. On the Birds Barossa scoreboard. And Roberts with the ball tap there, gets down and locks the ball in on the ground, makes sure it's not going anywhere unless it goes his team's way. Neither Ruckman really able to get a decisive hit there. Good hard and under work there from John Greenslade. That's, uh, you mentioned earlier, two teaks that he needed to get involved. Yes, he's got to set his tone on the game. Angerson with a clearing kick. And it's bottled up here on the uh, half forward area for Angerson. It's good strong defensive work there for Tanunda. Oh, he's tried to barge the light through the pack there. Uh, well tackled and held up on that occasion. So we'll have a ball up about 30 metres out from Angerson's goal, directly in front. Roberts just waits, taps the ball down, but no one able to get it cleanly. So we see a mad scramble rugby style. And that man again, Gers, has jumped onto the pack and uh, Todd Falkenberg gets up as well. Gers just loves this stuff. Really strong tackle there by Will Fallon. Welcomes young Thomas Hahn to A-grade footy. Good pick up there by Riley Argent. Handball's off to Ben Antoni. The flying left foot kick. Just falls short of the goals. Spack down by Jake Pilgrim. Good defence from Pilgrim. Looks like he's been moved on to Jed Durden. Punch goes to space. Tanunda have got plenty of players around the contest. Pilgrim was really important in Tanunda's win two weeks ago at Kapunda. Shut down Justin Zanandrea, the most dangerous forward for the Bombers. Now he's got to try and do the same job on Durden for Angerston. Well, that was a good take there by... Um Riley Argent just could come through with it, but it's out half uh, Young Archie Haddon just got knocked off the footy. It's none with a handball. Hack out of the air there from Steve Summerton. Almost lands in, well, actually does land in the arm of Jed Durden. Looking at the replay now, that is a really impressive little take. That handball out, a quick kick. Coming in now, that's one of the best goals of the day. Sorry, not Durden, it was Jay Shannon taking the mark. And a 25 metre penalty paid against Pilgrim. That's a very costly mistake because that was a tight angle for Shannon to be kicking on. It was a 50-50 goal, now it's guaranteed six points. And that brings another goal to you by Ray White Craigmore. The premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs, Scott. That is good news for Angerston. They needed that goal just to calm Definitely, the Definitely, just to stem the flow and just calm things down a little bit. But what a mark. That 
strength to hold your opponent off while falling. But while falling to the ground to take that was just beautiful. Yeah, it was a nice, nice one-hander in the end, I think. Falkenberg gets up high. Ball comes down. Colquhoun off the deck. Picked up by the Anderson player. Ball comes out into space now. Will Fallon unable to gather. Ball just goes over the boundary line. So we'll have boundary throw in almost in front of the Anguson box. Not the Anguson round, Scott. Yes, Anguson round box. And Falkenberg gets to the front with the tap down. That handball goes back. Summerlin gets it up. Anguson player got the kick away before he was decked. And Matt Westoff takes a mark in defence. Now he plays on quickly. Finds a target in Greenslade. He'll go back to Westoff again. Westoff ran hard. He's now kicking to the outer side. He's got a player free. He took the mark under pressure in the end. Good grab there by Isaac Felvers. Um, he's just holding up a little bit here in a moment, waiting for a play. Goes deep into the forward line. And strong mark taken in defence there for Anguston. Just a quick chip sideways. Coming out to this side, Anguston got two players at the fall of the ball. That was out in the fall, ball just drifted over the boundary line, out on the fall. Probably a bad mistake there by the Panthers. Haven't made too many today, I don't think. Ball coming in now. That's a big kick across the face. Pack underneath. Couldn't quite form. He had uh, Aaron Fechner quick kick out. And it's over the boundary line in the forward pocket for Tanunda. And should be a kick for Anguston with the last touch rule. Yes, it is. This is the rule we were talking about earlier, and it is a good rule. Good rule because straight away we're back in the game. Keeps the momentum going and um, obviously saves the boundary up on our work as well. It does save them the work, but... Oh, my goodness. That's tight. That is really walking the tightrope. Stays in board and rushed over the boundary line. So we'll have a boundary throw in almost on centre wing here on the camera side. It's a good deep throw in. Ball comes straight to the Ruckman's feet. And a lot of body work going on in there. Stephen Summerton, John Greenslade, two old protagonists, would have gone at each other at SANFL level in the past. And now they're renewing acquaintances. Another throw up here on the uh, forward flank for Anguston. Quick kick there. And it's a beautiful mark. And a strong take. Fraser Smith just going across goal now. Cut off by the Panthers, Jack Miles. Trying to crumb his own spoil. It's a real risky kick, that one, in the end. It um, was, and Miles got one hand to it. If he'd gotten two to it, would have been able to play on and clear the area quickly. Yeah, very risky manoeuvre there on that occasion, but they're lucky enough to hold it up here. Tap back from Anderson, finds Miles. He handballs backwards. Another handball back. Another player from Anderson. Kicking across the field, finds Jaden Antoni on his own. Antoni chips the ball inwards, finds his coach Jay Shannon, who's taken down. Shannon puts the ball out in front of young Malachi Colhagen, who handballs backwards, finds Cal Loki. Oh, why would Loki kick with a poor kick hits Trent Gers. Gers now rebounding for the Pies, switches play across the field, finds a teammate in. That will be. Uh Young Thomas Hahn, I believe. He's picked up no, Benny Biagi. Benny Biagi. He's pretty well in the middle of the ground here, looking to go forward, looking around, a bit hesitant. And kicks out wide. Benny Biagi, no chance of a free kick there. His father, a notorious advisor to the umpires. Yes. It's probably the way I'd put it. Very politically correct. He gives plenty of advice. Some of it warranted, some of it just the usual. And under going forward now. Ball in dispute. Looks like 
Here's a snap from a snap Tom Hard. Corner. Has he put it through? He has. He has. That's a beautiful little kick. Yep, Tommy Hahn. Thomas Hahn, beautiful goal from the young man. Yeah, that's Welcome a, to the A grade. Yeah, great first goal there. And that's another goal f- brought to you by Ray White Craig Moore, and the young man might be able to start saving for a property. Yeah, 100%. Looked like uh, Angerson were trying to get a, a lot of players back in that occasion. Um, yeah, trying to defend fiercely, so... Yeah, the co- competition's still on here at uh, Panther Park. Oh, it's a red-hot game. It is open for anyone. It's not a winning margin by any stretch of the imagination. Currently, Angerson 10 goal 6, 66, leading to Nunda 6 goal 5, 41 on the Burge Barossa scoreboard. We've only played 15 minutes in the third quarter on the Ray White Craigmore time clock. Rush kick out of the middle there by uh, Tanunda onto the wing. Uh, Angus have picked it up here, working it towards the boundary line, and looks a like a free kick found going the way of Tanunda. Feltus bring the ball in. Angus and player unable to mark it. Quick kick around the corner. Tanunda player fumbled. Riley Argent pounced, unable to get it in clean hands though, and a free kick going Tanunda's way for a legging infringement. And the umpire, umpire apprentice has called the ball back, saying there was no advantage there, so Tanunda are going to have to take the ball from the spot where he paid the free. Aaron Fechner has got the ball, he's going to kick it hard into the uh, forward line, and it's straight to an Angerson player. Um, so Mark taken there in defence. The switch to play. Steve Summerton it was, who's everywhere at the moment for the Panthers. That ball going out to the outer side. Finds the Ruckman, Roberts. He's on his own. He needs a bit of help. Got the switch on good then, uh, Teeks. That was a beautiful switch. He kicked beautifully, found a target, but well spoiled over the boundary line. And adjudicated correctly. This is where I like that rule again. Coming back to the, it got touched, so let's do a throw in. Yes, that rule, I think it's been fantastic this today and particularly but it's all year I think it's been judged well. Angerson with a quick flying kick into the forward line and cut off beautifully by the young man Hahn who's playing almost a sweeping role in defence. Doesn't have a direct opponent it seems. He kicks long down the line which is smart for the young man. Didn't take a risk. And Tanunda take that ball over but it was off hand so it'll be a boundary throw in. Falkenberg and Adams go at it once again. Pretty well brought straight down to a pack and there'll be another repeat uh, ball up. And a free kick paid to Nunda's way. Fechner to take the kick. He's uh, got a little bit more of the ball this quarter. He uh, has, a veteran player. He's come into the game nicely just when Tanunda needed him. A little bit more control coming back in. Finds the game. a player on the outside. That quick kick down, finds a player in, in the open. So Tanunda will have a direct entry into the forward 50 now. Goes high. Big pack forms under it. No one able to take it. Clear and kick for Angerson. Lands on the chest of a player. Roberts again, I think it is, out on that wing. He was looking for the short target in Antonis, found him. Jake Hood's got it here, he's come across the other... This, uh, Going for the switch. And a mark taken, that's Hood. by Shannon, that's a good switch. And a good shepherd that was oh. applied with the ball coming in there for Angerson as well. And a free kick going to Nunda's way. Not exactly sure what for, but Henry Ratcliffe was the offender. Westhoff kicks in short, finds Greenslade. Greenslade goes to switch play, nearly marked by the Angerson player, cleaned up. Beautiful connection from Angerson by hand. And that shot on goal, just offline. Wasted opportunity for Angerson. Could have been really punishing for the Magpies. 100% true there. Um, that was a bad cross there. That was horrendous. Play. That was horrendous. That could have really... Uh, 
been worked to Angston's favour there. And that was one of Tanunda's marquee players, John Greenslade, making the mistake. Yes. Not something you would see every day of the week. No, they go to clear long this time. Right out to the half-back line. Strong tackle brings down the Angerson player, so we'll have a ball up on the outer side. Oh, who's this limping off here, Teeks? Uh, Jed Duran, is it? Jed Durden. Yeah, Durden's looking mm. slipping a little uh, bit. No, I think it's Jay Shannon. No, my mistake, it is Durden. Durden, yes, he's kicked him foot on the ground or something there happened, so they'll have a look at that and patch him up and He'll put him back He on. should be fine. It's probably a retape. Yeah, that's it. Get him back into the contest. He wouldn't want to be missing in the last quarter. That could be critical. Long ball in, tap backwards. Gone a bit um, quiet here in this third quarter. There's been a very tight game again and not as much movement as we've seen in the second quarter. No, really sort of both teams playing pretty wary at the moment. A strong tackle laid there as the Tanunda player kicked. He's still got his kick away. Angerson controlled the ball. That handball coming out, cut off. Tanunda able to take advantage. And there's another pack for me now. Angerson was probably lucky to get out of that after a mistake. Gave the ball up too easy. Yeah, on that occasion... Uh, Ashton Stein, it stood up again under pressure, which he's done a couple of times today when he's needed. He's been quiet, but he has gone when it's been his turn. Umpire throws it up and the rucks go again, as they have all day. And it's still a bit of a pack forming over there. There's nobody in Angerston's forward line, 50 at all. It is empty. No, so I think Jed Durden would be there, but when he came off, no one has gone back to replace him. They've gone very defensive this quarter by the looks of it, uh, Teeks. Yeah, I think they're just trying to stem the tide for the moment. And they're doing a good job, no doubt about it. I think it's probably a bit too early to go defensive. They need to kick some goals this quarter. 100% would agree with you on that, that call. Um, don't want to bottle it up too, too early and not play your normal flow-freeing game like they were in the first half. Ball comes down and kick forward from Tanunda. Angus and player at the front of the contest able to bring it down. And a free kick for holding the ball paid, going the way of Tanunda. So Tanunda will have a shot on goal directly in front, probably 10 metres out. That's what happens when you apply repeated pressure to a defensive unit. They did have the extra one back there too on that occasion, but they, they still uh, managed to uh, give it over. And his shot on goal is... The full six points on this occasion, so good goal by Tanunda. And brought to you once again by Ray White Craig Moore, the premiership team in real estate in the northern suburbs. So Tanunda really starting to make some inroads on the scoreboard at the moment. That'll take them to eight goal five forty seven, trailing Angus and ten goal seven sixty seven on the Birds of Rossa scoreboard. So we've got a real game on our hands now, Scott. Yes, that's a 20-point 20, 20 lead there. They've sort of had that all most of the game. Starting to get a little cool here now. Perfect for the people watching at home in front of the fire. Yes, all those people that are uh, unable to get to the game today. I hope you're enjoying this uh, coverage today. And Tananda bring it out of the centre again. They seem to have got their wheels on, Teeks. And that bounce just cruelly eluding the Angerson defender. Jacob Fiebiger backs up, picks it up. Ball coming out now. Beautiful take on the deck there. Stephen Summerton kicks, well, finds the ball as it's kicked to him by Loki. Summerton goes long, looking for Jaden Antoni. He was caught behind. Discipline punch over the boundary line, so we'll have a boundary throw in in Angerson's forward 50. That was a good punch there by Brett Dowsey. He uh, got that one across the line, so we can reset here. Um, right on the 50 mark for the Panthers. Good tap there by the Tanunda Ruckman. This comes down to the front of the pack. John Greenslade wrapped up by Summerton straight away. Ooh, a lot of tight stuff going on there. 
Jack Miles laying a fierce tackle. Yeah, it was very solid. Nice quick handball. Out handball out. from yes. Greenslade really opens up for Tanunda. Josh, Josh Hokeless there. Just Josh Hokeless, really impressive young redhead. Was fantastic against Kapunda. Had one of the best individual quarters I've seen in a long time. Just still hasn't made an impact on this game. Uh, there's a pack around the ball and it'll be interesting to see who gets their hands on it here. Angus taps it out of the bottom of the pack. Uh, the Riley Argent gets out. Quick handball off to Miles. He kicks the ball straight away. One on one up for Ben Antoni held Westoff out of the contest. Westoff is quicker to get back on it. Handball's out. That's good running defence from the Pies. So that was Joel Griffiths out of the back line there for Tanunda, but straight back in Angus's hands. I know. Come back and to Tanunda. Regathered by the Pies. Felters there kicks it forward. Oh, good solid tackle on that uh, occasion. Massive hit, and we'll have a boundary throw in on the outer side, just on Tanunda's 50 metre mark. Yes, I see what you mean about the uh, weather up here. Michael, the, it's really come in a bit brisky on the third quarter. Nice tap there by the Ruckman. Tanana, Josh Greenslade's really come into the game. Kicks it forward and it bounced off his chest. And Angerston are in there. Tanana, Tanana player ball. picked it up. He was tackled immediately. Jaden Antoni with a lot of muscle. Not something we'd normally say. No, so he just he's built like a twig. Very strong tackle to the ground there. Ball taken out of the ruck by the Tanunda Ruckman. He gets the handball out. Another throw up here by the um, ball up by the umpire. But they've done a tremendous job today. They've been really good today. I've been impressed with their work. Quick tap out there. Goes to John Greensland. Yes, as that brings the third quarter to a close. The score currently Angerson 10 7 67, leading Tanunda 7 5 47 on the Birds Barossa scoreboard. Yeah, that's a clear 20 point margin there to the Panthers. 20 point margin, but it doesn't feel that big. That quarter it felt like Tanunda rested back the momentum. No, you, you're dead right. They got a, got a couple sneaky goals there in uh, Fray, Fraser Smith early. And earned a lot more forward time. Jay, Jay uh, Shannon chipped in with a third quarter goal and. Uh, Still in uh, Tuckwell yes. for Angerston as well. So, and, and Thomas Hahn got his first goal. In Thomas the, Hahn yeah. really starting to show some good signs, young fella. I've been impressed with him. Okay, and back to the point you made about the umpires. As I said earlier, I think this is one of the best pairings in BLG umpiring ranks. Umpire Herman, one of the most experienced in the local ranks, has been uh, one of the top umpires for years, D done a number of A-grade grand finals. And Ryan Prentice, one of the up-and-comers, who's really impressive. I think these two as a combination work very well together. They're both on the same page. Yeah, it's a very uh, thankless job uh, being an umpire, but uh, they've done a really solid job here uh, today and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super impressed. I've let the game go in some aspects uh, and then uh, called the right calls. Um, so yeah, really uh, happy with the way they've gone about the game today and uh, being that we're looking for umpires all the time, um, it, it sets good precedents going forward. They've controlled the game well when it's threatened to get out of hand with a little bit of emotion in that second quarter. They calmed it down straight away. There was no muck about didn't waste throwing cards or useless 25 metre penalties. They just made the right decisions at the right time. Just talked calmly to the players. And exactly what the game needed. They've kept control. They've called a couple, pulled a couple of 25s today, but got, it's all been calculated to keep control of the game and you know let them know that they're around. So Absolutely. Without pulling silly ones. What do you think? I think they've just umpired the game and let the game go. They've let the players play the game, and that's what people pay money to see. As much as the umpires are important, people don't pay their money to come through the gate to watch the men in green. They come to watch the players wearing the guernseys of their club. 
100% there, Michael, and getting back onto the, the football. Um, you say on the 20 point margins, not big, but the way Angerston have played today, um, they've been very tight when they needed to be and, and have got the ball on a chain when they've had to. That quarter they were very good in defence, I thought, even though Tanunda did score a few goals and come back into the game. So they're going to have to be right on their game in this last quarter mm. to bring it home. Yes, they were good in defence. That wind has probably changed around a little bit. It's almost blowing into our faces now on the grandstand side. So yes. probably no advantage for Tanunda kicking to the right of screen this quarter. No, no, you're deadly right there. And Port Adelaide have beaten Sydney, so we're all up and about. It's all good. Yes. Teeks will be the happiest man alive today. It's been a good week. Uh, as I see the final instructions being given to the players, what did Tanunda need to do to get back into this game, Scott? Well, like you said earlier at half-time there, the two keys were probably Johnny uh, Greenslade and uh, our mate Sam. Calhoun. Calhoun had to get back into the game and they did get a bit more of the ball and you had the likes of Isaac F Feltus on the wing uh, pick up a few more touches. Trent Gers has always been good around the ball. A um, few of their smaller name players have actually got into the game which they will need to still roll with in this quarter to have any impact and get an early score on the board if they want a, any chance of winning this game. Yes, it will be interesting to see whether they can keep that pressure going. They need to generate a lot of forward half ball in this qu last quarter to force enough scoring shots. That's going to be the real challenge for them. For Angerson, they need to get back to the attacking footy they played in the first half. Very defensive in the third quarter. By need, they had to do it. They were under pressure, but they need to put pressure onto Tanunda. So you'd safely say this has been one of Angerson's best performances? For the one year? of Angerson's best for the year, definitely. They've only won the two games prior to this. Well, they haven't won this one yet, but they've only got the two games so far for the year. It'll be a repeat ball up in the middle. Uh, it was just taken, tackled hard there, Tanunda. So another ball up. Very scrambly there at the moment yes. in the middle. But as soon as players get their hand to it, there's at least one to two players grabbing them. That was ben High ball. Jacob Fiebiger plants himself under that. He kicks the ball out to the outer side now. Finds Jaden Antony, who handballs forward. Riley Argent on the run with that lovely left foot. Uh, Tanunda player is the only one going for it. He takes a mark strongly. Chips out now to a player under pressure. Ball comes to ground. Gets it back again and kicks into the middle of the ground. There's all Wangerston players. No, here comes Nunda, and he's marked it just forward of centre-half forward. Yes, strong mark. Good dive. It was in the end. It was a good mark. He made the yards, kicks it into the forward line. He's seen somebody, and the young yes. fella has taken it uh, straight on his chest. Yes, that's a beautiful take. Uh, Thomas Hunt, no? Jackson Doherty. Jackson Doherty, who we haven't called much today. He's no. only had a couple of touches. You want to sight this one up and let's lean back, kick through this the This is ball. an important kick for Tanunda. They get this, they're right in the game. Coming in now, he should be able to kick this. Not much of an angle. Left foot. Well, just He's tugged it to the right. Yes. Apologise for that curse. Angus going to bring the ball back in now. Jacob Fiebiger will do the honours. That was bad miss there. He just, just faded away to the right there, unfortunately. Um, so bring it out. goes line. long. Oh, that's a nice, oh, nearly a nice grab here. On nearly a nice grab. Jack Miles, first grab at it. Yes. Just didn't quite get the second. Ball comes over the boundary line for a throw in. You could feel the passion there, Michael. There's passion in this game. There is definitely, and there's quite a bit in the commentary area at the moment. I know, it's getting a little bit willing. And Jay Solid. Shannon taking in a really powerful tackle. Almost could have been holding the ball. Tom Ryan with a quick kick out of the pack. Just slipped out of his hands. Benny there. Bergermeister fighting away there with Matty West off on the boundary. Another ball in. Benny Bergermeister, a player who will give not an inch. He's a little bulldog. And sending a shout out to his brother at home who's recovering from an ankle surgery. 
How you doing, Corey? Oh, uh, uh, second umpire's picked a hole. Uh, second umpire from off the play's pulled out a free kick. And under the, now, Sam. Colhoun's got the ball. Playing on around. Was under a lot of pressure. Well defended there. Brought to ground. Angerson now with a kick around the corner. Colhoun almost took the mark. A strong tackle to follow. He up. lays a tackle. He followed up beautifully. And there's a push in the and back. And there's a push in the back. A sloppy tackle from Riley Argent. He's probably just going with the momentum of the ball then, I reckon. It's and probably yeah. almost tripped over the yeah. previous tackle. Yeah, just, just the momentum took him that way. A bit unfortunate. Oh, he's looking for a handball. The guy's not even ready well, for it. Well, he's going to be kicking from outside 50. He's not a big fella. No. We've just got a handball it off. We'll have a good look. Now he's going to drive the ball to the yes. hot spot, top of the square. Uh, no, centering kick. Be in their eyes there a bit. Handball backwards from Angerson. And the ball spilled. Goes over the boundary line. The boundary throw in probably 20 metres around from the point post at Tanunda's end. Deep throwing goes to a dangerous spot. Comes down to Riley Argent, whose attempted kick misses everything. Oh, he's Stephen Summerton with a strong tackle. Sorry, it was Summerton that missed the ball. Don't want to cast suspicions on the wrong player for a change. Uh, Brock Wilch there took a, took a hard tackle on that occasion. And there's another throw up. Adams with a good back tap. It's good handball backwards. Find some. Sorry, yes, yeah, Summerton. Right in front of Commentary Central here. We're seeing a bit of the play close. Oh, it makes it a little easier. <laughs> now, boundary throw in. The Adams against Falkenberg. Get to see their action up here close. Jay Shannon coming through. He read that beautifully off hands, but he was brought to ground straight away. And holding the ball. Holding the ball. That was an interesting one there. Straight up to the forward line for Tanunda Chance. And Angerston. Angerston, right well defended there. Cal Loki running back hard from the wing. Just a couple opportunities here, uh, Teeks, on, uh, in this closing uh, quarter. Yes, Tanunda with all the traction at the moment. Angerson need to clear their defence. They're having a bit of trouble. Yeah, score here would make it Phoebe very Phoebe looking for somewhere. He's going to go long. Ball goes over the back of the pack. And they're out here. Strong handball from Will Falland. Some of them with a kick. Ball bounces in front of Durden. He goes to ground with it. Tackled hard. And a free kick paid against Angerston. Holding the ball, even though probably not sure that he had a lot of opportunity. No, I don't think he could have got rid of that if he tried, but yeah. Ball to Nunda switched the play right across the other side now. There's Felder say up in the other far wing. He's got it. Plays Another player off. in space, but he's kicked over his head, falls into the Angerson player's lap. He goes into the middle of the ground with a dangerous kick. That handball finds the player in space. That's a long kick going forward now. Angerson player well set under the ball, going backwards with a brave, brave mark. Yeah, that was a good long kick in there. I think it was young uh, Thomas Ryan kicked that in. Yes, Tom Ryan, one of the best users. He quarterbacks the ball for Angerson off half-back quite often. He's the guy they look for to deliver forwards. This is uh, Dylan, is it Dylan Tuckwell lining up? Yes. And, uh, yeah, this will make it hard if they, he puts this one through. It's uh, going to be kicking from a fair way out, though. Probably going to be kicking from at least 40. No yeah. win to speak of. Been a popular spot there today. He's connected beautifully and just drifted off to the left-hand side. Probably that's the side that the wind has changed. They've been drifting the other way all day, but the wind changed has brought it to this near side. And a beautiful game of BLG footy again today, Scott. Yes, here live at Panther Park. Tonight they're going to kick out from the back line. Kicking out to the uh, members' wing. Fraser Smith on a long lead. He's taken that ball from the kick out. He's going backwards. Looks a little proppy almost. Just that he's on the slope. He kicks deep. Ryan got two hands to it, unable to bring it down. Loki with a handball. Back to Shannon. It's bounced around off a couple of shins. Tom Jackman with a strong effort trying to run through. It's called for holding the ball. Probably should have tried to get rid of it. Jackson Doherty here looking to uh, for a lead up forward. Just 
playing it safe and down the wing. Doherty's picked up a few kicks this quarter. Yeah, yeah, it's been a bit more prominent this Really quarter. come into the contest. That kick going deep into the forward line. Angerson player at the front. Probably Shannon was the only one who really had a chance to mark that ball. Made it his own. Now he chips backwards to the goal square. Find somebody and somebody goes across the other side. That's a good switch from the Panthers. Antoni yeah, and they're out here finds again. another target out on the wing. Well cut off there. It's by Young. It's by Colhoun. Colhoun. It's, oh, there's a that nice a strong beautiful mark kick. Jeez, that was like a Juggling like a mark rocket. that was a bullet that he caught. That was like a rocket, so this will be interesting. What do you think? Has he got distance on this one, Bailey Smith? Bailey Smith, he's a long way out. He's going to be kicking from outside 50. Probably just beyond him, I'd say. Put it all in there. It's all looking good all the way. That is an excellent kick from the young man. That is a timely goal. Timely by goal brought to you by Ray White Craigmore, the professional, the premiership team in real estate in the northern suburbs, Scotty. That they are, and they are just... They have houses. been raining goals for Ray White Craigmore today. And that goal, massive for the Magpies. Keeps them right in the contest. And three-quarter time score from South Gawler. South Gawler, six goal, 10, 66, leading Newry, six goal, seven, 43 on the Birds Barossa scoreboard. And here, here we go. There's been an uh, infringement on the... Uh, infringement in the centre square. No, it was on the half-back flank, I think, uh, Teeks. And being paid in the centre square. So Tanunda kicking forward, going long. This could be costly for the Panthers. And ball comes to Fechner at ground level. He's dodging and weaving. The handball doesn't really find a teammate. And he's tackled, brought to ground. And there's some strong tackling going oh, on there. And absolute desperation stuff. Now oh, players are really hitting the hurt zone now. Yes. They've been running hard. It's been a tough game. They will be sore. They will be tired. Lactic acid building up. Jack Miles with a clear and kick. Keeps it in board. And Steve Summerton with another kick forward there. He's been fantastic for the Panthers. And that ball just knocked over the boundary line, or is now. So we'll have a boundary thrown. Players get a momentary chance to have a breather. And Scott, just keep your paperwork together, would you, mate? And that's a really crude push from Tom Ryan. Just trying to distract you there, Teeks. Uh, Tried to do a bit too much. That's a silly free kick from an experienced player. And that'll give Tananda a simple shot on goal. Matty Westoff lining up. What's he doing up here? He's, he's, he's forward. drifting forward to try and win the game for his team. It's captain's role. He's drifted right up forward. This is a captain's forward. pick. He's decided to come forward. And that's why Ryan had to give away that free kick. He was giving away a lot of height. And that's another straight and through the Matt middle. Matt Westoff straight through the middle for probably his first goal for the year, I'd say. That brings it back within striking range there teams. that is real danger area for the panthers and tanunda is storming home have the panthers used all their petrol tickets they may have and that's where tanunda are really hoping they can get the jump yes. currently on the birds for the scoreboard angus and 10 goal 8 68 tanunda 9 goal 7. i don't think angus has troubled the scoreboard this quarter have they no they haven't so that's nine goal, seven, 61. Seven point ball game here at Panther Park. We're back in the middle. Plenty of time left in this game. Angus and need to find another gear. Desperation time for the home team. Tanunda still got a little bit of work to do and they will be smelling blood in the water right now. Ball up, Tanunda with a tap. Barging through, get that clearing kick. Aaron Fechner's out in front of his opponent. Got that little bit of space. Handball out, finds a Panthers player. Ball flicks out, handball back for Angerson and a clearing kick. Strong, solid mark there in the middle. Fights it under. 
Some really gutsy stuff. That was... Not sure who that was, but that was a courageous mark. Fraser Smith got under that. Two opponents to beat. Ashton Stoll Jumps into the back of his opponent. Ashton Stoller was in a perfect position there. Just didn't quite grab the ball. But, but uh, stood strong under the contest, which is what you like to see from a young player. 100%. And Jack out. Miles crumbs that beautifully. The kick coming out wide. And, and a gutsy mark over his shoulder out. taken by Malachi Colhagen, young first-year senior. Actually, his father played for Tanunda in the old days, so and it's a oh, terrible a kick off the side of his boot. Absolute shocker. A hand, quick handball off. To Thomas Hard, kicks it up forward. Oh, it's right big where spoil. Pies want it. Comes to the ground. Angerston. Oh, solid. He met there. Beautiful tackle. That was a solid effort there by both players on that occasion. Jacob Phoebe gets smashed into the turf. Really has Quick been. ball up. Roberts with the tap. Really has been a good contest. All here players today. This has been one of the best games I've seen all year, Scott. Yeah, no, it has been really well. I wasn't made. sure what to expect coming here today, but this has really lived up to the rivalry. This I can tell you what I was expecting, and it was the Panthers to be in front and looking to take it forward again. And Angerson pushing the ball now. Oh, here going. they open. Here's a give me. Kick from Ben Antony. Finds a player in the clear. Will Fallon waltzes into the open goal, slams it through. That's a really timely goal brought to you by Ray White Craig Moore, the premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs, Scott. Uh, and that's his uh, second uh, goal. Second major for the day, and that's the most important goal the Panthers have kicked all year, probably. That was a good team running That goal. was great transition footy, and that's what Angerson did in the first half. They moved the ball from half back with speed and took Tanunda by surprise. Yeah, they took it on and that's, you, you've said... Tanunda do have one weakness, I've noticed this here, and that is speed. Angerson used speed there to tear them apart. Yep. I even noticed that against the uh, Newry game. Yes, the Newry the game was where I first noticed it. Yep. They are vulnerable to speed on the outside. Just couldn't run, run, run it out, Justin. That might be that COVID thing, players not the out. Might be. A couple of players together. who are probably the wrong side of 30. Yes. All that can add into it, but uh, still a contest. Falkenberg here. gets the ball down, but to no advantage. Oh, a great smother. smother there from the Angerson player. Here we go. Steve Summerton with another handball out. Jaden Antony hacks the ball high and forward. Matty West off underneath it. Couldn't control it. Ball comes into a pack and they've held it up again. Tanunda really looking to find a way to rebound off this half-back line. And this is where they can break the game open themselves. They've got the skills to do it. They've got the players to do it. 100%. Here they bring it Ball out Ball coming now. out now. Just that misguided kick. And poor kick hits Jake Hood on the chest. The player who's probably slipped out of the game a little bit. He's going to go long. He wants distance. Flying attempt from Tanunda player. Didn't come off. Ball comes to ground. So we'll have a ball up. Almost tr the traditional centre-half forward position in Angerson's forward half. This is where the home team want to camp the ball for a little while. They want to force some pressure. We're nearly 17 minutes into the final quarter on the Ray White Craigmore time clock. And it's Angerson 11 8 74 to under 9 7 61 on, on the Burge Barossa scoreboard. Burge Barossa scoreboard there, yeah. Quick handball to none to get the ball on the outside. That quick kick is what they need. Cut off by Angerston. Just been in the right Cal spot. Loki just was there. Kick was a little rushed. He sends the ball forward. Ball comes to ground and free kick paid going to Nunda's way. Looks like Matty West off to clear. A little bit of kick to kick going on here at the moment. Yeah, a little ball. bit of rugby going on on the outer side. Big push there, the Angerston player. Was shoved well under the ball. Ended up taking it, but he gets the free kick. They're doing like you said, Teeks. They're holding up here nicely. Cal Loki, little chip kick out to the wing, finds Jaden Antony, who's been busy all day. He's a really good link player. He drives the ball long. Angerson putting pressure on that damn wall again. Quick handball back from the Panthers. And kick goes deep into the forward line. One on one contest. Tananda did well, knocked the ball out of bounds. So the boundary throw in almost in front of the scoreboard in the far pocket. Yes, and there'll be a boundary throw in. The rucks go at it like they have all day today. 
Falkenberg gets that tap, goes his, into Nunda's favour. Angus on out of a bit, ball up. Jack Miles gets the handball. He's taken down as he kicks. Steve Summerton gets the ball. Clever handball back. Finds Jake Hood who handballs further backfield. And that kick scrubber. Jacob Fiebiger picks the ball up. And a poor kick ends in the hands of the Canunda player. He's running forward. He kicks the ball into space. Now we've got a race. Jake Hood's quick. He doesn't lose to many people. He's too quick for the Tanunda player who pulls up really sore. Almost runs straight into the bench to sit down. He's limping badly, cramping. Yeah, Jackson Doherty's Jackson cramp. Doherty doesn't look like a structural injury, just bad cramp. Hit him at the wrong time. We're in fighting hard here, Tanunda trying to get the ball out. And I'm not surprised he's cramping up. This game being played at a frenetic pace. This is... If you paid your money to come in and watch this game today, you have got your money's worth. This has been an absolute cracker. It has been a, one of the best for the year. One of the best I've watched in probably a couple of years. This is beautiful football. Yeah, it's been a good day up here at Angston. Really well hosted here by the Panthers. And big third man in tap there for Tanunda. That kick around the corner, not really going anywhere. Hat kick forward. That was Just offline. Greenslade, big. Torpedo out. out. Greenslade, he's able to get those kicks away in traffic. Somehow he does it. There's no room, but he, I saw him kick a goal like that against Newry. About four people around him, and he just kicked the goal from nowhere. Angerson bringing the ball back in now through Fiebiger. Looking for Jackerman. Bit of a pause in the game at the moment. They're just playing it carefully along the wing here. Lovely grab there. Beautiful mark. Jay Shannon, his hands have been good today. He's taken a couple of brilliant grabs. That one-hander in the last quarter was something to behold. He's just taking his time. Goes long. Searching kick. An under player leaps. Beautiful hands coming out. Quick kick Frenetic away. kick. Jack Miles stood under that. He outmarked a taller opponent in Westhoff. Miles comes further afield looking for Shannon. Shannon just takes his time, walks back on the mark, just settling the game down a little bit. Over 20 minutes gone in the fourth quarter on the Ray White Craigmore time clock, so Shannon knows that this is time to just be, play smart footy. She's going down the wing side here. Angerston's got another kick forward. And that pl player gets in front down there. That's a nice mark taken. Not paid over the line, I think. Not paid over the line? Yeah, just... To throw in, I believe. Well defended. Game. It looked like he was about to take it. I was probably a bit premature. They've uh, played it well along the wing to get it down in their forward lines here now. Another throw in. Throw in goes deep. And that's a massive tackle. That's and a high. free kick paid. That'll go to Nunda's way. Tommy Harns was just a little too uh, reckless on the tackle. Actually, there. no, it went Angerson's way. Steve Summerton with the free kick. And just finds Jaden Antoni in the pocket. Jaden Antoni is a right footer as opposed to his twin brother who's a left footer. And he's probably within range here. I'd almost back him in to kick this. He's a big goal kicker. Sliding, deliberate lining up here. Getting ready to ping it off. Steps around a little. Hot. Contacts beautifully. Just drifts across the face into the goal square. And that's a big mark taken there. Durden with, that's about the third big Pack mark he's taken for the day, Scott. He's only six foot, six foot one. Just drifted through for a point there, Michael. Sorry to pin, burst your balloon there, but it was a good mark. I have just deflated like a balloon. That was a great mark. <laughs> Maybe that's why he was allowed to take it. They've moved it quickly, but they moved it straight to an Tanunda Angus Angus player. Decided to take the game on, and probably a bit too aggressive there. Angus with the ball into the forward fifty. Doesn't hit anyone. Picked up off the deck. Oh, that's a snap. Snap on goal. But, uh, to no avail. This is soaking up time for the Panthers. Yeah, they won't mind this at all. I think uh, you can safely say that they've, they've won the game in that first first part of the first half of the, the game. Today. The first half of footy is the best that they've played in the entire season. So they'd that's have set, to be really set happy. set it up for them. Now to oh, Anderson. running out here. Oh. Player went to ground, not rewarded. And 
Pressure uh, is high. His second effort was fantastic. He got the ball, gets on to Gers, who's still battling hard. I'm sorry, Gers now with the ball. Finds Fraser Smith. He's outside of his range, so he chips across. It's a beautiful kick. Aaron Fechner. He goes long, Aaron Fechner. But nobody home for Tananda there. Ball going. Jay Shannon, the playing coach, he's parked himself in defence. He's not going to let this game slip away. Jacob Fiebiga now taking his time. Yeah, he's played a really solid game. He's today. a really good, solid defender. A player for the future. That was a big push out there, not paid. I thought Angus Adams gave away a terrible free kick, but he's got away with it. And Argent just off the side of his boot, he had a fall there, unfortunately. Yeah, a little mistake, but... He managed to get some distance on the kick, and that's probably enough. I think, I think uh, uh, Panthers have done enough today. Currently a 13-point lead. Nearly 24 minutes gone in the final quarter on the Ray White Craigmore time clock. We'll have a ball up on centre wing. Getting quite cold here at Angston. Now the shadows have come in. Yes, as you predicted earlier, the ball goes up here on the wing again, and the Angston player's got it. And it's held tightly to him, and it'll be a ball up. Yeah, that's been a good good afternoon here. They haven't given up at any stage of the game, so... And well roved there by Jay Shannon. Gets the ball to the outside to his running mate, Steve Summerton. Beautiful kick, finds... Dylan, is it? Dylan Tuckwell. He's going to drive the ball into the forward 50. Just ignores the short lead, goes long. Just a size, keep hammering that damn wall that Tanunda have put up. And that was your man there again, Jed Durden. He's ha had a fantastic day. He's had a really good day. He's probably had a lean season compared to last year where he kicked a lot of goals. Well, that's a good take out of the pack there, and they've had a goal. That is beautiful football. That, that is Very superb. silky smooth there. I didn't quite catch who that was. That was magnificent. I'm just going to watch that replay. Tap down there by the Tap down. And it was Summerton. Gave a quick handball. And finished off by I can't exactly tell because there were so many players around the contest. It's been that kind of day. It's been no easy footy. But that's sealed it for the, the Panthers. That's today. the sealer. And Anguson with their should collect their third win of the year. They get the chocolates today here at Panther Park. Unfortunately, the Maggies fought hard and come back hard after half time, but they just, uh, some of the delivery let them down today. Out of the middle for the Panthers again. They've done it well all day. Jaden Antony with the pick up. Handball's off to an opponent. That's a deep kick for Tanunda. Jack Miles under it. Oh, wow! That's a what ripper. a mark! That is an absolute beauty. Looking at the replay of that just as the siren goes. We will see that replay in just a moment, but that was a hell of a mark there. Unfortunately, not going to be enough for Tanunda as he goes back to take this shot on goal. But that was a thing of beauty. One of the best marks we'll see all day. We've seen a couple of rippers. He goes back and he puts that through. Uh, Yet another goal for Ray White Craig Moore, well, the premiership team for real estate in the northern suburbs. And that will conclude the action here for the day. Uh, we'll just do a quick summary. Best players of the day, I think Steve Summerton for the Panthers, an absolute standout for mine. He was everywhere. Yeah. Jay Shannon also stood up strong. And uh, and we uh, the, the young fella uh, up forward, Jed. Kicking. Jed Durden presented well, took some really good grabs and gave the Panthers a reason to kick long with confidence. And uh, they let uh, Shannon, I thought he... Shannon, the playing coach, I thought he was he controlled the tempo of the game when it needed to be Brought a lot of down. experience, didn't he? Yes, brought a lot of experience and a lot of toughness around the contest. For Tananda, I thought one of my favourite players, Trent Gers, I think he fought his guts out all day. Probably more in the second half, there was a couple of key players that come back into the game, which they needed, uh, in the likes of the John Greenslade and uh, Sam Colhoog. Colhoog, a little bit, but uh, lots of Jackson Doherty came into the game. Brock Wilch stood up at times. Todd Falkenberg fought hard against the odds all day. 
probably Aaron Fechner was the guy who lit the game up for them and almost got them over the line. You're probably right there. He got a bit of the ball there and uh, played well. There's, there's a lot of inexperience in there. A lot of young players in that Tanunda side and a lot to look forward for the, to for the future for the Magpies fan base. 100% there. They'll be disappointed about losing, but there's a lot of upside in this team. Yeah, 100%, Michael, and thanks for having me today. Thank you for chipping in and giving us a little bit of Tanunda perspective, a little bit from the corners of your mind. Thank you very much for that, and uh, you have a pleasant evening. Thank you very much. That's us signing off for this week, and the players are out in the field. They'll have the presentation of the Peck Cup and we'll stay with you for that just for the moment Sam the AV guy's got nowhere to go so I'm telling him he's staying put and, uh, do best player as well yes they will the Kleinig medal will go to the best player on the field for the day I'm tipping Steve Summerton to be the player to take home the Kleinig medal this year I think you'll be pretty right on there with that. Maybe uh, your Ruckman, he was pretty outstanding as well. But that were, the two Ruckman were both good as a tandem, so that diminishes that a little bit. Yeah, I suppose you're probably right there on that occasion. So, yeah, you'd be... Summerton right. was fantastic. He played a lot across the back line at times when they needed. And how do the uh, boats get done for the BOG? Do you uh, for the umpires is 3-2-1. Yes. The umpires will do that. Yep. And I wouldn't be surprised if Steve Summerton gets three votes read out on medal night. Yes. No, you, you'd be pretty Steve far. Steve Summerton, Jay Shannon. Yep. And possibly T. Gers won. Yep. I wouldn't be upset if that's where it came out on the night. No. And I don't think anyone would begrudge that. Have to ag totally agree with you, uh, Teeks, on that. As you should. You should know that by now. I know I'm not to disagree with you. It's about time someone realised. Mind you, this is my first engagement with you for a long time in the commentary box, so it's, it has been a while between drinks. It has, and we haven't even got to the drinks. Exactly. So look out in the future. You're driving, so you're Thank off the you alcohol. Ladies and gentlemen, exactly. welcome to the number. Um, the Peck Cup and Climbing Medal, uh, another great contest between two great clubs. We've been going at it for over 300 games since, uh, well, over 100 years ago. And uh, I'll hand over to Peter Climbing, and Peter will present the Climbing Medal. Peter's a four time Premiership winner at Angerston from five grand finals, and a two time Premiership winner coach at the number from four grand finals. So it's been a great servant of both clubs. His father is a great servant of this club and also has helped out at Sananda. Peter. I'm not talking to the crowd. I'm talking to the players, not the crowd. Congratulations to both sides. It was a great game. Sananda, good fight back in the end. I would have given you up at three quarter time, but uh, really great comeback. Well, Anderson, I'm glad to present this, the medal to you for the, about the second time after 20 years. The winner today, I couldn't even count his stats, they were so high, Steve Summerton. Fantastic scenes as Jack Miles comes forward to collect the Peck Cup and Stephen Summerton, as Scott and I predicted, taking home the Kleinig medal. Uh, yeah, thanks guys. Uh, as Summo said, uh, always a tough game coming up against Penunda. 
uh, always a hard call contest and uh, it's nice to get one back finally. Um, as Steve said as well, he pretty much said everything, hasn't he? But um, yeah, we, we, we've battled through the first half of the year and uh, it, it is good to get a win today and hopefully build a bit of momentum for the second half of the year. Cheers. Thanks everybody and once again, well done to London. Thanks for making it a great day here. I've put in from uh, 9 o'clock this morning and uh, we'll, I think we'll celebrate. Thank you.